Most people think about the arts and they think about the finished product. They think about that beautiful painting. They think about that great piece of music. They think about the, the ballerina on stage. But they don't understand what it took to get there. Not only for that artist, but for the army of people that have been behind them, helping them every step of the way. North Van Arts has been part of that muscle, part of that community that has helped present that work for the last 50 years. I was brought in uh, by Ella Parkinson, who was the longtime executive director, and she was very much the, the force behind the Arts Council for, for, for many years. She took over from Anne McDonald, and we're here in the Anne McDonald Hall, so it's very fitting. I, th I learned a lot from Ella. She was a, a real force in North Vancouver. Um, she was defiant when she needed to be. She taught me that it was okay to challenge bad policy. The Arts Council at the time took on ambitious things like uh, it dreamt of a huge project for the north end of the Lionsgate Bridge, it uh, did uh, arts commissions, had arts uh, exhibitions in different municipal spaces, public spaces. You know, North Van really suffered from a lack of cultural production spaces and um, support for them and, and a market. Culture and arts is also about having shelter, having homes that we can afford, uh, having healthy food that we can eat. Culture isn't just about uh, oil on canvas. It's about language, it's about how we interact in our society. So I think the Arts Council has as, as an important role as it did when it was founded in 1969. There was a desperate need in those days for there to be able to put some attention on art. And at that, at that time in our history, there were no things such as cultural departments or anything like that. And so a recognition of the value of art and the importance of art usually had to come from the grassroots. The reason the Arts Council has been around for 50 years is because of the passion and the commitment of all the people that have been involved with it over the last 50 years. That's the volunteers, the staff, the community, the artists, all of it together is what has made this a successful organization. Well, we're connectors. So we're that um, organization that's able to work with all sorts of different levels of, you know, artists, residents, visitors, government, and sort of hear from them all how arts and culture can serve them and what their needs are, and then we can look at how we can come to the table with an arts and culture solution to those needs. We've been around a long time, 50 years, and we have a lot of important programs that are out there that have um, been those connecting points um, for people for a long time. We're doing that through our, our uh, festivals and events, our exhibitions and our arts education program, and our art rental program. Arts, culture, these are expressions of humanity. They're expressions of how we understand ourselves and understand each other. And they're also expressions of how society and civilization tries to understand itself. And so the importance of art and culture can't be overstated. It's clear that North Van Arts provides an incredible service to our community and our community appreciates what it is that they do. Well, North Van Arts Council has been an incredible supporter of arts-based education and arts-based engagement, primarily through music. So it's been yeah, very much a partnership with them for a number of years. But there is a, a desire to innovate and do new and a desire to continue to meet the needs that are present now. Not the needs that were present five years ago, but the needs that are now. And that, that takes a lot of work, for sure, to have to kind of constantly be changing and, and ebbing and flowing, but I think that is the work to be done, and the Arts Council has taken that on. It's, just, it's one thing to say partnership, it's another thing to actually engage in an integrated way. Um, and what I've always found with the Arts Council is a genuine, how can we do this together? I don't know all the things they do, but I know that the kids like it, and that they are getting out in the community as well. And I think that uh, that is a big goal for the North Van Arts Council, is to get art into as many spaces in the community as possible and having people interacting and building these different kinds of relationships and I think that that's really fantastic instead of just having one place where people can come and have art they try to have it everywhere. If you're going to bridge cultures and build community you have to do that by engaging with the community and not be tied to a facility so you got to take yourself 
outside of this space routinely so that you as an organization can know what your community is and what your community needs. And you do that by not just engaging with them in conversation, but you do that through collaboration. We get superb exhibitions in here. Incredible talent comes through this door, but they all love the fact that it is, um, it, it's an integrated community where absolutely everybody is welcome. Our voice is an advocacy voice as well, so someone has to be there at the table to say, no, this is important, right? And so that's our role. This organization has met the need. I mean, they started by saving Presentation House Community Complex and, and creating that robust place where there was a focal point for the arts within North Vancouver. At that time, Presentation House Gallery actually wanted to have the building torn down. Um, but really our objective was that uh, this building and, and McGowan Hall and President National's Theatre was the heritage building from, from North Vancouver's roots, colonial roots, and it was created uh, for uh, a home for the Arts Council, it was a, a home for local theatre, it was home for kids to uh, support their cultural development, and so we fought that and um, that's why we have President National still today. Right now we have um, almost 500 works in the, in the art rental program and it's a huge part of how we support emerging and established artists. But we also run the art crawl. Our cultural mapping um, project is a big part of uh, what is a stepping stone, not only for our organization but for the community. Reconciliation is a big part of what we are going to be focusing on uh, in the next five years. Digital art is also another area. Working with um, digital artists on how we can present their work, not only in our gallery, but around our community. And, you know, really think about um, that next level of storytelling. Their insignia is on so many events that I go to. I'm like, oh, North Fans Arts Council, I'm okay, they were involved in this one too. And I think oftentimes they're probably in the background, right? They've, they've been a, a funder, they've been a supporter, they've been on the, on the outside kind of helping to hold that space and allowing other people to carry the work forward and do the innovative programming and all that stuff, but as that sort of steady financial supporter on, on the outside, making sure that there are good things happening. Uh, I know that they are a total stalwart within our community. It might have been a summer student that switched from science to fine art, because that's happened. It may have been an artist who hadn't sold anything in a long time and they were going to stop painting. And, you know, we're there to support them, to let them know that, no, no, it's you're in your soul. You need to do that, to support them. And so I think the biggest asset is that we have made a difference, one person at a time. And that's amounted to thousands and thousands of people over the last 50 years.